a lot of questions in the chat, a lot of chatter about Johnny Smith. It's fair. It's fair. And you, you think about it from a long-term perspective. And if they can't figure out this thing with Smith and he had to play early on in the game where he catches the ball in the flat, breaks a tackle, gains like 17 yards. And you say, Oh, well that's how they should use Johnny Smith. Right. And I put maybe 5% of the blame. If that on him for the interception, it really wasn't Johnny Smith's fault. He doesn't have eyes. Here you go. Hating Mac Jones again. Right. He doesn't have, he doesn't have eyes in the back of his head. So let, let's over let's settle down with the oh we should have boxed them out or whatever. Um, but I, the the fit's been odd, right? It hasn't worked as well as they thought it would. And I think the biggest problem that you look at it from a big picture standpoint is that his cap hit and his hold, right? The fact that he's due another, I think it's eleven or twelve million dollars next year prohibits the team from going out and signing another pass catcher for big money because they have Johnny Smith under contract at like 50 million guaranteed or whatever, something crazy that they gave him. So I, I'm not there yet where I'm going to sit here and say they should be trying to find ways to move on from Johnny Smith. But if he doesn't start playing up to his caliber in, in terms of the contract, then it really bogs them down because they can't find a replacement unless they draft a rookie wide receiver or a rookie tight end. That's great. Uh, and go that direction. They can't pay or trade uh, for a veteran. If Johnny Smith is taking up that much money on their cap. Yeah, it's it, it, and it, it, I, the whole thing you talk about, you know, not blame the interception on Jeff, like the whole thing. It, it feels like Nikhil Harry all over again. Has, they have it? this big physical dominating presence and they just can't, it's a usage issue. I don't know that John, like John U. Smith to me is not playing poorly. He's just not being put in positions to succeed. And this, we talk about all the time about this, what this yeah. coaching staff is so good at. There's just this mental block here with these kinds yeah. of players that they seemingly can't figure it out. You mentioned, you know, the throw in the flat and the 17 yards, like that's exactly how you use right. it. And they just don't, they're not doing it enough to justify it. And I don't like, maybe it's something they see on film. I don't know. I'd have to go back and look at it closer. And, you know, it's probably a better task for you than for me, but it's just, they're not, you know, we had that whole role. I talked about it in the preseason. We did our predictions that John Smith would lead this team in catches. I thought they were essentially yeah. going to use him as a slot receiver and that they're just, it hasn't been the case. It hasn't been the case. I, I don't really know what they're using him as. Yeah, no, that that's a really good point that it does feel like another big athlete that you ask him to run around and get open at the top and, and make a, a move and, and have it all go smoothly. And, and that's feels like you're pulling teeth. Right. But then you get him the ball and some space and he can do stuff with it. But in terms of what he does for the team. And this, I went on that very, very short rant about us pumping up Nikhil Harry's blocking tape against uh, Cleveland last week. You can't pay Johnny Smith $13.75 million against the cap next year to be Dwayne Allen. You, you just can't, right? I mean, it, nothing gets Dwayne Allen. Nothing. Dwayne Allen was, was fine because Dwayne Allen was making a salary that made sense for a number two tight end. You know what I mean? But this is a number one top of the market type of deal for Johnny Smith. And just because he might have some good blocks there, or just because they might create some mismatches in terms of personnel, it, it doesn't matter if he's not producing. So I, I just, I don't know. I, I have a tough time with Johnny Smith because I agree with you. It, it does feel very Nikhil Harry like where they just kind of don't know how to get the most out of him in the passing game. And you saw that that first half against the Jets and you said, that's how you use him, right? They threw a screen, they threw a pass to him out of the backfield. He was a, in a, a kind of like as a fullback and then he releases up the field off of play action and you threw uh, the route in the flat early on against Atlanta. And, and, and you see all these types of things come out and you say, oh, you know, these are good ways to use him, but it's just not consistent enough for him to produce at a high level on flares into the flat. 
right? And, and a screen right. pass once a game. It, it's just not going to get the stats that they needed to get. So it is a concern, not necessarily because I'm I'm jumping off the bridge that they didn't hit on Johnny Smith or Johnny Smith has struggled, but more so because of the money that he's due next year and the year after that, right? right? In terms of the contract and, and those that that cap hold being what it is. <laughs>